hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to draft a skirt block as well as how to do a flared side seam like this without the use of a side seam godet these are the measurements that you guys are going to need so get a measuring tape and make sure to take the measurements from yourself or for your from your client as accurately as possible also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started the first thing I want to do is draw a straight line from the from the top of my paper just to make sure that all the lines that we're drawing off of this line are straight. And now I'm taking my waist front measurement and I'm dividing that by two and then subtracting that by a half an inch. And that's how I get my waist. And then I'm going to draw in my high hip and my low hip. So my high hip is four inches and my low hip is nine inches. I'm just marking those out. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill those lines in. So my high hip, I'm taking that divided by two and then subtracting that by half an inch. The half an inch is negative ease. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my low hip. So low hip divided by two subtracted by a half an inch for negative ease. Cause remember this is a bodice block for uh, a skirt block for stretch fabrics. And then I'm going to draw in my waist to knee measurement. In this case, it is 21 inches long, so I'm just making a mark there at 21 inches, and then I'm going to just finish that line off. The next thing I'm going to do is take my knee circumference and divide that by four, and that's how I get uh, the bottom line there for my knee. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that out, and then I'm once again subtracting that by a half an inch for our negative ease. And then just you just want to go ahead and connect all of those lines. It's super, super easy, guys, to make this bodice block. Uh, skirt block. Why do I keep saying bodice block? <laughs> and then you want to put on your seam allowance. You don't need seam allowance at the bottom because you're going to extend whatever kind of uh, skirt or train that you're going to be making. I've included some diagrams here for you guys just in case uh, the actual footage wasn't as clear to you guys so this shows you guys the front and the back skirt you really only need a back skirt if your uh, girl has a significantly bigger back than she does a front most of the times i can get away with using the front pattern for front and back so keep that in mind i have also included a diagram here of how i cut out the skirt i like to make it really really flare because i don't like to sew extra seams um in regards to having to put godets in if i actually don't have to so here that is and thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it for you check out some of these other videos i have on my channel and i'll see you in my next one